there's no better feeling than a personal win. And the State Farm Personal Price Plan can help you do just that. Talk to a State Farm agent today to learn how you can bundle and save with the personal price plan. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Prices are based on rating plans that vary by state. Coverage options are selected by the customer. Availability, amount of discounts and savings, and eligibility vary by state. What's so funny? (laughs) Why, Friday Follies, of course, right here on the Mutual Audio Network. (laughs) The following audio drama is rated G for general audience. This episode of Bells in the Battery originally released April 12th, 2023. Hello and welcome to Bells in the Battery. I'm your genial host, John Bell. And today we'll be discussing... Oh, Mr. Bell! Who left the door open so Brad could get in here. I just thought I'd drop by and see how the temps are doing. Well, so far it's been hit and miss. Hit and miss? No one's hitting Miss Schmeckelheimer's level of quality yet. Well, she did set the bar kind of medium, didn't she? So, do you have any new temps? Yes, yes, yes. She'll be in the mid-50s today with a low tonight of... No, no, temps. Uh, temporaries. The temporaries you've been bringing in for the last few episodes. Oh, yes, yes, Mr. Bell. There's one on duty right now. Well, as soon as they're done, I'll check in with them. Or they'll check in with you, Mr. Bell. Sounds like we're going to be playing a game of check-in. <laughs> that must have been a joke because you're laughing. I was wondering how you could tell. Sometimes it's hard. There's my temp now. May as well find out who it is. Good luck, Mr. Bell. We're all counting on you. This is John Bell. Hi, it's Jack Ward. Brad, it's Jack Ward. The guy who created Rocky and Bullwinkle? No, the head honcho of the Mutual Audio Network. What should I do? Why don't you ask him what he wants? Oh, good idea. Hi, Jack. <clears throat> Hi, Jack. Uh, what do you want? Yes, I- I'm, f- I'm I'm here filling in for Mrs. Schmacklehooper. Heimer. Heimer. He's today's temporary. He's the boss, Mr. Bell. He can do what he wants. There's a Mr. Snoot Grambler, a Belvedere Snoot Grambler. He's dressed like a riverboat gambler. You're kidding, right? Really? Grambler the Gambler. Is he driving a Nash Rambler? He says he's the world's greatest book yodel juggler. Book yodel juggler? I don't even know what that is. Look, just tell him to... Come right on in, apparently. Hello! Hello to your people! I am Belvedere Snood Grambler! Uh, of course you are. And how did you become a book yodel juggler? I will tell you! I walked down the street to my library. Gonna get a, gonna get a book or two. Enough to last till February, but I bit off more than I could chew. Well, that's just... Getting home would be a struggle. Gonna be, gonna be oh so blue. So I got a book on how to juggle that I knew what to do. Thank you. Juggling books by Dickens, Kev, come, my Angelou, Tolkien, F. Scott Fitzgerald, Rowling King, Hemingway, too. <laughs> Hi, Mr. Bell. How's the show going today? You're not going to believe this, Arnie. Hey, isn't that Belvedere Snood Grambler? Uh, yes, it is. That explains the Nash Rambler parked outside. You're familiar with Snood Grambler? Yeah, I met him on a riverboat once. He's a real natty dresser. Uh Uh-huh. He juggles books better than my last accountant. How do I get him to stop? Well, he's juggling a bunch of mid-sized novels right now. You want to throw him off balance. How do I do that? Toss in a copy of the Brothers Karamazov. Where am I going to get... I just happen to have the first edition on me. Here, toss this in. Boy, this is heavy. Figuratively and literally. Hey, Belvedere, catch! Alrighty! Uh. Do you need me for anything else, Mr. Bell? Just yodel! (laughs) I don't know how this day could get more bizarre. Oh, now I know. Yes, what is it? Hi, it's... Jack Ward at the front desk again. Has Mrs. Snackfielder come back yet? Schmackelheimer, no. No? I wish she would. Okay, but I gotta tell you, that big red button on the top of the phone that says, don't push this button. There's a button like that on your... This is in capital letters, by the way. Not a good sign. It's making me want to push... Don't say it. That button! He says it anyway. My advice, don't push that button. Okay. Or any button, for that matter. Okay. So, why did you call? Why did I call? I asked you first. Oh, right. We have, uh, the Lothers Brothers, with their druthers for others, with fleece covers who discovers Carruthers from deep south of Struthers. Well, that's just splendid. Um, what do they do? What do they do? Can they get rid of echoes? Apparently, they quilt kilts riding high in stilts, pondering their guilt. 
Could you give me that again? No, I'm not repeating any of that. That's wise. They keep making holes in our ceiling. There's like four there now, which, need I remind you, is connected to the first floor lobby upstairs. I don't suppose that if I told you to tell them that I'm not here, you would... I didn't think so. Gentlemen, welcome. Good morning. Ye must be, Master Bell. I must be. Nobody else would take the job. Hey, I can understand that. I see you're all wearing kilts made of quilts. Hey, we stole the quilts. That's why we're pondering our guilt. Did you also steal the stilts? Nay. How's that? Nay. You bring a horse with you? We nay didn't steal the stilts. We built the stilts. So your act is to walk around on these high stilts. That's only part of the act, Sonny. What? He hesitates to ask. Is the other part. We got springs in our stilts. Springs? So you... We boons. 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 We boons a boot on our stilts. So you have some springs in a boot? Nay. There's that horse again. Just watch. All right, laddies. Let's start boons in the boot. Oh, isn't that marvelous? You're all boonsing, bouncing on your stilts, and I can see where the holes in the ceiling are coming from. There's only one thing that can make this act even better. Please don't tell me it's if you start playing... Bagpipes. Uh, gentlemen, thank you, thank you. This has been a wonderful performance, but I'm afraid we must... Okay, that's it. That's all I can take. Uh, everybody just keep doing what you're doing. I'm going to step out for a few minutes. Hours. Days. Weeks. Hi, Mr. Bell. What you doing standing all alone outside your studio mumbling to yourself like Papa used to do in those old cartoons? It's been a busy and really odd day since Jack Ward became the temp. Huh. Why don't you just fire him, Mr. Bell? Well, technically he's my boss, Brad. Oh, boy, that is kind of awkward, isn't it? Yeah, so I figured I could just hide out for a little while and... Ah, but you can't hide from a golden opportunity, Mr. Bell. Opportunity? I've got... You a gag. A gag? You know, a job. That's a gig. We're not talking computers, Mr. Bell. We're talking gags. You mean where I'm telling jokes? You tell jokes, Mr. Bell? Yes, on occasion. Huh. Say, you ought to try throwing those into the show every once in a while. Thank you, Brad. I'll consider that. Anyway, Mr. Bell, I've got you a job as an announcer. An announcer? Yes, you know, an enunciating announcer. What will I be announcing? Well... Announcements to start with. Okay, and what else? I can't tell you just yet, Mr. Bell. We haven't smoothed out all the rough edges. I'm not going to be a manicurist, am I? No, no, no. I mean the rough edges in the contract. I see. Although, um, is this a skill you have, Mr. Bell? You mean giving manicures? Because I really could use a little buffing here and... No, no, I've never been a manicurist. Oh, okay. Um... How about... I don't do pedicures either. Pity. Hmm. By the way, Mr. Bell, what were you planning for this episode before Jack Ward became your temp and things went wonky? Well, um, cryptocurrency is always in the news. Cryptocurrency is the money of the future, yet many people do not understand it. To them, cryptocurrency, like Bitcoin, is just numbers on a computer screen. Numbers that could disappear at a moment's notice. Our cryptocurrency is different. It is as strong, resilient, and indestructible as the super dog it was named after. But our crypto gives you more than just numbers. Our currency is comedy Bitcoin. What kind of comedy Bitcoin? You name it. Now, what's the guy's name on first base? Now, what is on second? I'm not asking you who's on second. Who is on first? I don't know. He's on first. We have tasty deals. You want bread? Yes, please. No soup for you. Big game. One morning, I shot an elephant in my pajamas. How he got in my pajamas, I don't know. Some that are a smash. There's not a slice. There's not a dice. There's not a chopper in a hover. What could it possibly be? <laughs> Comedy Bitcoin. Laugh all the way to the bank. From your friends at Safe Home to Invest in Currency Crypto, otherwise known as Shtick. <laughs> what can you say about the man who invests in our funny money? He's in charge. Boss. That man. Top dog. Big cheese. A head honcho. Yeah, you... 
could do that. Okay, well, alternate fuel and electric cars are always in the news. Hello, friends. This is Ralph Spoilsport of Ralph Spoilsport Motors. I've got a full lot filled with a lot of answers to your transportation needs. Gas going up, getting you down. Here's a little beauty that gets 60 miles to the gallon. It's not very fast, but it also mows your lawn. Here's our new electric car. It has a 300-mile range on 300 D-sized batteries. If gas prices have you steamed, here's our steamer. If no gas is your goal, just shovel in the coal. But wait, we have the latest and greatest vehicle that doesn't use gas, electricity, or coal. Ladies and gentlemen, get a horse. Yes, Ralph Spoil Sport Motors is now Ralph Spoil Sport Stables. We got quarter horses, we got half horses, we got whole horses. Ride an Appaloosa to Tuscaloosa. Not in a hurry, get a Tennessee walking horse, or a mosey horse, or even a loitering horse. Our ponies aren't phonies. They can handle any terrain with exclusive four-hoof drive. Don't want to spend money on gas? Hey, they eat hay. And we got wagons to go with them. Covered wagons, uncovered wagons, wagon trains, wagon buses with wheels made out of wood. You know they're good. I'm Ralph Spoil Sport. A horse is a horse, of course, of course, and nobody's equine is finer than mine. Don't mean to brag, but every nag is one you'll keep for long. <laughs> Get it? For long? <laughs> Saddle's not included. You know, Mr. Bell, I think I'll just go to my office and, uh... Update my resume. You do that, Brad. If you need me, I'll be in Studio B. We don't have a Studio B. I mean, the break room, where I'll be recording on my phone. Wow, just like a real podcaster. Okay, now that I'm in the break room, I can relax, have some cheesy poofies, and not worry about being contacted by... Uh, it's... Still Jack here. Yes, I know that. There's a woozball team out here? I didn't know that. Made of stink bugs. And I'm sorry I now know that. All 37 of them. Apparently, they're the offensive line. Offensive line? It certainly smells like an offensive line anyway. Who are you calling offensive, bub? No, no, you're you're lovely. Uh, Say it. Stink bug. Why are there stink bugs here? Apparently, you're supposed to call their game here in Halifax, John. I'm going to murder Brad. So, what is woozeball, anyway? I am not sure. But it has to do with a square ball of some material that bounces in very odd directions and makes uncomfortable noises when it hits the ground. Uncomfortable. Seriously. Apparently there's skis involved. Oh sure, why not? It seems to be some kind of mix between cricket and curling. I heard that! Oh, and don't mention the word cricket when trying to explain the game. Apparently it's a bit of a sticky wicket saying cricket seems not to be quite cricket, if you know what I mean. And I don't want them to come back here and pick it. Maybe this is a cheesy, poofy-induced bad dream. Let the Woos Ball game begin! Yay! Welcome to this epic Woos Ball matchup between the Saskatchewan Stink Bugs and the Detroit Dung Beetles. It's a beautiful day for a game. There's not a cloud in the ceiling, although there are some holes up there, so we know where the quilt, kilt, stilt bouncers came first. <laughs> And there's the horn to begin. The stink bug's forward interrogator kicks the woos ball, which takes a bounce toward the dung beetle's rear revenuers, who whack it with their skis, making it slide toward the pretzel cart. The stink bugs recover the woos ball, sending it first class delivery to the dung beetle trench. Candy gram for Mongo. Mongo like candy. Thinking it's an Arbor Day gift, they open it and. <laughs> That's two and a half points to the stink bugs as the dung beetles begin the second frabbish by bouncing the woos ball off the center skidoo's head, <laughs> launching it toward the stink bugs' 15 bug chorus line. Here we go! The ball is kicked <laughs> several times and flies into the air where it collides with the good beer blimp. It deflates! Landing on top of the Stink Bugs marching band. A cheerleader ignites what's left in the blimp with her flaming baton, and a smoking woos ball bounces across the field. It's anybody's woos ball now, and is picked up by the guy who draws the lines on the field. He's running with it up into the stands, offering the woos ball to the highest bidder. And the call of the purple parrot means that's the end of the first Grammys and the start of negotiations to buy the woos ball back from Elon Musk. 
Wow, Miss Bell, that was an exciting woosh ball game. My money's on the stink bugs. Young Beatles rule. Thank you, Arnie. I hope that's all I have to do today. So if Jack Ward calls again, you're going to tell him to take a leap? <sighs> no. Uh-huh. He is the boss. Well, maybe he's gone for the day. Or not. Jack here. Imagine my surprise. Can I get a break? Well, I... Or a cheesy poofy, at least? I kind of finished those off. Seriously, there's been, like, zero opportunities even to go to the little Jack's room. Why? I really, really hesitate to ask. Are you calling? Why am I calling? Yes, why are you calling? There's a little man from the IRS out here. Jack. Yes. Now would be a good time to push that big red button on the phone. Really? Press that sucker. Okay. You've been listening to Bells in the Battery, episode 311, copyright 2023 by John Bell Creative, LLC. Show's over. Go away.